Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and today I've got a review for you. This is of the Brain FPV RE1 flight controller and the Brain FPV PDB. Now, this is a system that a customer of mine was really interested in, and I don't have a lot of history with it, so I I decided, you know what, it'd be a good time to do a review on it, put it in a build, and see what I thought. Now, on this review, if you're looking for something that gets highly technical and into every little specification of the component of whether I'm doing this review or another review, that's probably not what you're going to get from me. I'm really more about the hands-on. So being a custom builder out of Los Angeles here, I get my hands on a lot of gear and so um and i get to fly it and test it and that's really more what this channel is about is is okay i've done my research i know that this is an f4 board i know that it has vbat and digital led and infrared um lap correspondence so our transponders and so you know now that i've bought it i've looked at it and now i i'm gonna kind of do a review and and tell you what my thoughts are okay so first off, let me go over the PDB, and I really like this PDB. One of the things that I really like about it, too, if you, if you notice these two pins here, those are for the flight controller, and um, rather than having to run two wires um, from your PDB up to your flight controller, once you drop the flight controller over top of those pins, you solder them up and then you're ready to go. It's just a cleaner way to do it. Now, a note of caution, when you do, do, when you do that, <laughs> you want to make sure that you have everything on the PDB wired because you don't want to have to unsolder those um, pins off of the flight controller and be moving it off and on. So just make sure when you're ready to, to solder on, the flight controller and you're going to drop it on top right you're going to drop it on top there when you're ready to do that make sure everything is soldered on the bottom here on the pdb um, as far as the pdb goes looks like they use some really nice components the quality of the board is really good it's got two places for five, five volts two places for 12 volts it does have filtered 12 volts for your vtx so you can get some nice clean power to your vtx and so nothing really out of the ordinary or um, exceptionally rare on this PDB or different um, other than that two pin. And I do like that. Moving on to the flight controller. I like this flight controller. They did a really good job um, of the layout. Uh, like I said, it does have the infrared transponders for or the LEDs for the transponder for racing. And that kind of shows you that this company is going to be more tailored towards racers because it just puts that right on the flight controller. And again, like I said, you know, it does have VBAT. It's going to have digital LEDs, um, everything that you need. And on top of that, this does have built-in OSD. Uh, so you're going to wire your video in and your video out right onto this and you're going to have OSD and there's a lot of programmability to the OSD. One thing I want to hit on also is um, just how impressed I am with this company. Now, um, this company did not sponsor this video. This was something that was a system. This Brain FPV system was purchased by my customer. He sent me, a, sent me this in a box of parts and I'm putting together this build for him so but I've got to tell you the documentation that they have online is just top rate I don't know that if there's anybody out there doing uh, documentation that's as well thought out um, and step by step they literally give you step by step through every step of wiring up your flight controller now there's other companies that do that but not to the level or to the um, user friendliness that this company does, you know. So um, I'm happy about that. Sorry, guys, if <laughs> you hear from time to time um, planes flying over. We're right over. Uh, there's a flight line goes right over us and landing into the Van Nuys Airport. And um, 
I love this new mic that I have, but it picks up absolutely everything. And so if you hear my uh, freezer in the background or my refrigerator, excuse me, or anything else, I do apologize. But uh, it's a trade-off and I'm willing to make it because it just, I think it sounds good. But uh, back to the review, right? Um, I th I think this company is going to be a company that's going to do a lot of great things because the layout of the board, the materials that they pick um, as far as components, and then just how easy it is to to even from a beginner, someone that this maybe is their first build that they've done on their own. Um, even though this has a lot of options on it, I would say this is definitely one to look at because it really steps you through and makes it super easy to, to build. So um, that's my two cents. Now I'm going to get this thing built and I'm going to get it um, in the air. I'm going to do some extensive tuning on this for the customer and so I'll spend some time with it and I'll get back with you and let you know kind of what my um, final thoughts are on this flight controller as far as its flight characteristics. Being an F4 board, well, I expect good things from it. So um, I hope you guys are getting something out of these videos. You know, if you have a question or comment or if, you know, I, there's something in the video that that I'm not quite giving you that you need, um, just put it in the comment section and, and that way I'll know kind of what, you know, what is not working for people. And I want to make sure that you guys are getting actual useful information out of these. And, um, I do have a website. Like I said, I am a custom builder out of LA website is www.xframesfpv.com. And that's where I sell, um, my drone builds, but, um, like, subscribe, comment, rant, whatever you want to do. I'd be glad to hear from you, and I will do my best to get back as soon as I can. Hope you guys get some time to fly. Have a great day.